You know, I've done a study, and I'd like to share the study with all of you. I've done a study on the basis of the narrators of hadith from Bukhari, from Muslim, from many of the main works of Ahlul Sunnah, yes? When you look at the narrators, what do you normally do when you look at the hadith? You straight away look at the chain of narrators, correct or no? When you look at the chain of narrators, your next task is what? Your next task is to make sure that you go and look at their biographies, correct? The books you'd normally go to, there are two main books. Either Tahdib al Tahdib or Taqrib al Tahdib. One of them is the work of Dhabi and the other is the work of Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. Yes? These two scholars, what do they do? They take the names of every narrator of hadith in early Muslim history. Correct or no? When I'm saying early Muslim history, I'm talking the period of the lives of the Imams. People who narrate hadiths, they take their names. Under their names, they write their biographies, correct? So for example, if they take Ammar bin Yasser, they say Ammar bin Yasser, early convert to Islam, lover of Rasulullah, his parents were the first martyrs in Islam, correct or no? They write the biography. I studied the sheikhs of Bukhari, the sheikhs of Muslim, the people Bukhari and Muslim take hadiths from. Many of them, you might find even 30, 40 of them are Shia, let's say. No problem. Followers of Ahlul Bayt. But then there are some you find when you read their biographies, an amazing fact emerges. And I'll name you who they are. Under their names, it's written, under their names, reliable narrator of hadith. Reliable narrator of hadith. Reliable narrator of hadith. So when you see this, you're like, this is amazing. This person's a reliable narrator. Let me take the next line under it, it says, has a major hatred for Ali ibn Abi Talib. Take hadiths from him. When you read that, you're like thinking, hold on, hold on, wait. Our brothers in Ahl sunnah today, if you ask them, do you love Ali ibn Abi Talib? Every single one of them would say yes. Do you agree or no? Do you agree? If you ask any of our brothers in Ahl sunnah today, do you love Ali ibn Abi Talib? Won't all of them say yes? I want to ask my brothers in Ahl sunnah one question. Do you believe it was always like this? They'll say to you, yes. Say, why? They say, because we believe there are four rightly guided. Khulafa, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali. I asked them, it doesn't seem like that at the beginning of Islam. This seems to be a later myth. Say, why? I say, because the early reliable narrators of hadith was on whether they hated Ali. The more you hate Ali, the more chance your hadith would be narrated. Let me give you examples of names who are taken hadiths from. Someone like, for example, if you look at the likes of whom? Hariz bin Uthman al-Hamsi. Hariz bin Uthman al-Hamsi. Under his name, it is written, very reliable narrator of hadith has major hatred for Ali ibn Abi Talib. How? How can someone be reliable if they hate Ali? If early Islam loved Ali, how are you taking hadith from someone who hates Ali? The biggest myth in early Islam was every Muslim loved Ali. It's a myth they created later. In early Islam, the classification of a reliable narrator of hadith is someone who hated Ali ibn Talib. Hariz bin Uthman is the same man who narrates the famous hadith. You know what he says? You know the hadith I quoted earlier? Ali is to me like Harun was to Musa. Hariz bin Uthman, Bukhari takes hadiths from him, yes? Hariz bin Uthman said, this hadith is not true. He said, what do you mean it's not true? He said, this hadith is not true. So what do you mean? He said, they got the spelling wrong. They got what wrong? The spelling. Said to him, what do you mean they got the spelling wrong? He said, it shouldn't be Ali is to me like Harun is to Musa. It should be Ali is to me like Harun was to Musa. Who's, Fir'aun, who's Musa's three main enemies in the Quran? Fir'aun, Haman, and who's the third? Harun. Correct or no? What does the hadith say? Ali is to me like... Harun is to Musa. I said, no, you forgot the dots on the top. How do you write Harun in Arabic? What if you put two dots on top? What will it look like? Harun. 
He built children and institutions on the fact that this hadith didn't refer to Ali being good. It referred to Ali being a nemesis for the Prophet Muhammad. For hundreds of years in Syria, in Palestine, in Jordan, children were taught that Ali ibn Abi Talib's relationship to Rasulullah is like that of Qarun to Musa. That's who? All of the work of whom? This person, Hariz bin Uthman. Who else do you have? Maswar bin Makrama. You know, Maswar bin Makrama is seen as a very reliable narrator of hadith in Ahlul Sunnah. You know, Maswar bin Makrama is the man, you know the hadith, Fatima is a part of me. Whoever angers her, angers me. You've all heard the hadith, correct? Bukhari narrates the hadith, Fatima is a part of me. Whoever angers her, angers me. Normally, when you hear that hadith in Majalis, you think, Subhanallah, those who hurt Fatima to Zahra, how could they hurt her? How could they be evil towards her? You know where I'm going, correct? You know what the sharh of this hadith is? According to Maswar bin Makrama, he says, this hadith is an attack on Ali ibn Abi Talib. So what do you mean it's an attack on Ali ibn Abi Talib? He said, Ali ibn Abi Talib went behind Fatima al-Zahra's back to propose to Abu Jahl's daughter, Juwayriya. He went to propose without Fatima al-Zahra knowing. So Fatima al-Zahra found out. When Fatima al-Zahra found out, she went to Rasulullah. She said to him, Ya Rasulullah, how dare that Ali ibn Abi Talib go behind my back? How dare he go to marry and propose for the daughter of Abu Jahl? That Ali ibn Abi Talib has angered me. Rasulullah, as soon as he heard this, he said, everyone gather in the mosque. He stood up on the pulpit and he said, it's not for me to make halal, that which is haram, or haram, that which is halal. But Ali ibn Abi Talib today has done something which is prohibited for him. Ali ibn Abi Talib has angered Fatima al-Zahra. And know that whoever angers Fatima has angered me. And whoever angers me has angered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, Ali ibn Abi Talib has angered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fatima is a part of me, was never taught as an attack on others. It was always taught to children for hundreds of years. As the moment Allah became angry with Ali ibn Abi Talib. Tell me, Ali ibn Abi Talib has no better father-in-law to go for than Abu Jahl? Even if you just look at the hadith like that. You want Abu Jahl to be your father-in-law? Number one, Hariz. Number two, who? Maswar bin Makrama. Number three, Samara bin Jundub. Samara bin Jundub. Under his name, it's written, Hater of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Very reliable in hadith. Take a lot from him. This Samara bin Jundub, Muawiyah comes to him. He said, there's an ayah in the Quran, praises Ali ibn Abi Talib. He said, which one? He said, Surah 2, verse 207. The verse says, and there are those who sell their souls for Allah. Correct or no? He said that I in the Quran, everyone uses it to praise Ali. Someone said, yes, you're right. It's about him on the night of Hijrah. He gave his soul, his body away apparently for Muhammad. He slept in his bed on that night. He said, yes. He said to him, Samara, is there any way we can change the meaning of this ayah? He said, what, you want me to change the Quran? He said, no, 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 not the Quran. The tafsir of this ayah. He said, what do you want me to make the tafsir? He said, change it. Don't say it's revealed about Ali on the night of Hijrah. Say it's a prophecy about Ibn Muljam. He said, what do you mean? He said, say that Allah prophesies there will be a man who one day loses his life for the sake of Allah. That man is Ibn Muljam when he kills Ali in the mosque of Kufa. <laughs> Samara looks. He says to him, how much will you pay me for this? He said to him, 100,000 dinar. He said, What? A hundred thousand dinar to make sure children are brought up hating Ali ibn Abi Talib forever. He said two hundred thousand. He said more, three hundred. Four. There is a narration which says he paid him eight hundred thousand dinar to make the ayah reveal about Ali ibn Abi Talib. Imagine. They went to that extent. They made sure Hariz bin Uthman, Maswar bin Makrama. They made sure, for example, Samara bin Jundub, al karabis al-Baghdadi, Amran bin Hattan, Amran bin Hussein. Name after name of people who either their grandfathers were killed at Safin and hated Ali, or they fought Ali and hated Ali. You would find in the books of Hadith of Dhahabi and of Ibn Hajar, under their names, it says very clearly, that this person hates Ali, take as many hadiths as you can from them.